Hello and welcome. In this lesson we are going to write a Python code to bypass this form with image captcha. The first step is to collect information about the form behavior. Open a text editor to write down your notes about it. We fill the form correctly and define what would be the successful result of form submission. In this case it is a message that our CAPTCHA test is passed. Then, we provide an incorrect answer and learn what would be the failure condition. Write down this message as well for future reference. After that open a developer's console, submit the form again and inspect the request headers. There are a few cookies which in this case are not important, but in your case you might need to use the cookies which page provides. We scroll to the form data section and find our login, password, some sort of a token, and the CAPTCHA text. We can copy this request as CURL and save for reference too. Now we need to learn where all additional form fields come from, and how important they are. We open the page source code and try to find the location of that C token. Let's also record how it looks like in the HTML code. Finally, we find the way to obtain the image captcha. Most often it's a link to a file inside the source attribute of the image, and you would simply need to download it every time. In our example it is inserted directly to the HTML code as a base64 encoded string. The base64 string starts after this column, and ends with a quote. So, we collected everything, let's start the second step, coding. In my tutorial I'm using a free IDE PyCharm, it has built-in terminal window, virtual environment manager and many more. You can find a download link in the description. First, we import requests library, and make sure it is installed in the environment. Then, we are going to fetch page contents with this library. From the page source we are going to extract ctoken value, which is located between these two strings. How do we do this? If you don't know how to do it, simply Google an answer using keyword Python and a short description of your problem. Any link from stackoverflow.com is usually the most relevant, so we navigate there. I prefer to choose the most simple looking answer, without a need to import another library. Like this one. Add a backward slash to screen the quotes.
let's quickly test it. The C string extraction is working. In the same way, we are going to extract the base 64 string of the CAPTCHA image. Let's test it too. The next step is to write the code which will solve image captcha. Navigate to anticaptcha.com slash API doc. Scroll down to the GitHub links and click Python. Copy library installation command and run it in the terminal. Then, go back and scroll down to an example which solves image captcha. Copy and paste it in your code. Remove unnecessary code. The solve and return solution function requires a CAPTCHA file, and what we have now is a base64 representation on an image. Let's find a code which will convert it to a file. We will convert base64 string to a binary representation and save it to a temporary file. Then, we will feed this file name to the solve function. Now we need an API key, which we can get from anti-captcha. Let's try our code. Seems that something is wrong with base64 conversion. In this case we go back to Stack Overflow and try another solution. Remember that making mistakes in the code is absolutely normal unless somebody dies or get injured. Consider this as a part of your learning process. We fixed the error, let's try again. The CAPTCHA is solved successfully. Now, the final step, posting all of the form data to the website and checking the response. I'm going to copy this post data string as a reference. We're going to provide values of all of these post properties. So, this code is going to make a post request, and we now need to check if those requests are completing successfully. This is when our previous notes get used. This will be printed if CAPTCHA is solved incorrectly.
and this if it is correct. Let's run the code again to do the final test. And, we have our success message. Congratulations! I hope you've learned something new in this tutorial. Have a great day and goodbye.